Hi everyone, I have some important news to share with you. The public charge rule is back until at least November 17th. In this video, I'm going to share some important details that you need to know about, about why the public charge rule is back. So make sure to stick around. Hi everyone, so for those of you that don't know me, my name is Michael Ashuri and I'm a US immigration lawyer based in Los Angeles, California. At my law firm, we regularly post videos to make sure that you're up to date with what's going on in immigration. So if you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. So as I mentioned earlier, the public charge rule is back until at least November 17th. So let's talk about what's going on. Earlier this week, I reported that an Illinois federal judge blocked the public charge rule. When that news came out, it was, it was wonderful news for thousands and thousands of people that were planning on applying for their green card. Basically, Judge Feinerman, the Illinois federal judge, found that the public charge rule violates the Administrative Procedure Act. And as a result of that violation, Judge Feinerman blocked the public charge rule nationwide. Well, when the judge blocked the public charge rule, the Trump administration appealed that decision. The administration argued that Judge Feinerman's ruling would lead to chaos as it relates to making determinations about public charge. The administration also made other arguments as well. And as a result of these arguments, the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals agreed to allow USCIS to continue enforcing the public charge rule until at least November 17th, at which point additional legal briefs will be due. Now I'd like to share my screen with you and go over this article which discusses more details about what's going on exactly with the public charge rule and this lawsuit. So take a look at this article. It's from Law360. I'm actually going to link to this article in the description of this video. Uh, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to read a little bit of this article so you can get a better sense of what's going on. And it says here, Seventh Circuit revives public charge rule again for two weeks. Basically says here, the Seventh Circuit on Tuesday gave the Trump administration emergency reprieve from an Illinois federal judge's ruling striking down its wealth test for immigrants, allowing the administration to resume implementing the contested immigration rule for at least two more weeks. The federal appeals court granted the administration's request for an administrative stay of U.S. District Judge Gary Feinerman's Monday ruling vacating the so-called public charge rule, which has made it harder for low-income immigrants to qualify for green cards since it took effect in February. The order allows USCIS, which had stopped applying the immigration rule to green card applications for a one-day window in between Judge Feinerman's ruling and the Seventh Circuit's stay order to now reinstate the policy until at least November 17th, when the next brief is due before the appeals court. USCIS will immediately apply the rule to all applications and petitions postmarked or submitted electronically on or after February 24th, 2020, including pending applications and petitions. According to the agency, no petitions approved during that one-day window will be re-adjudicated under the stricter reinstated criteria. So now that we've reviewed that article together, I basically have three important points that I want you to take with you. The first important point is that USCIS is continuing to enforce the public charge rule. So if you're planning on filing an immigration case that is subject to the public charge rule, you need to make sure to include the appropriate public charge documentation with your case. And the last point that I want to emphasize is that the public charge rule will be in effect until at least November 17th. On November 17th, there are additional legal briefs that will be due 
and we're going to be closely monitoring the situation to see any updates or any developments with the public charge rule at that time. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you got a ton of value from this video. If you know anybody that could benefit from this video, please feel free to share this video with them. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I will see you on the next video.